I don't know about you, but I don't think that Mike Tyson should be fighting. Especially should not be fighting a 20-something year old that looks like he's on steroids, that's juiced up, that hits hard as a horse's kick and is ready to go. Mike Tyson could die in the ring over this $20 million check. Well, I know you got to get the money somehow, but Tyson is almost 60 years old, man. So, we're looking forward to this fight, right? Because it's going to happen regardless whether we want it to or not. A lot of people have been saying they don't know if Tyson is at the age where he could take them hard punches from somebody as big as Jake Paul, etc., etc. We're about to see what's happening, but look at what just happened to Mike Tyson. Had everybody thinking that he was dead. Had everybody thinking that there's about to be a Mike Tyson R.I.P., the greatest that ever did it, may he rest in peace type of thing. Boxing heavyweight legend Mike Tyson is doing great after suffering medical emergency while he was on a flight from Miami to Los Angeles. Now, seeing paramedics rush onto the plane at LAX less than two months away from his professional return to the squared circle against Jake Paul, which will be aired on Netflix. We're less than two months away from the fight. The fight has been deemed by the Boxing Commission as a professional bout. It could have been an exhibition fight like the one he did with Roy Jones Jr. It could have been a one of those show-off kind of fights, but it wouldn't count to anybody's record. But both fighters wanted this to be a professional fight sanctioned by the boxing overlords. And they have sanctioned it as a professional fight. So what we're essentially looking at is Mike Tyson making his return to professional boxing at 57 years old. And here he is, just flying across the country, is giving him difficulties. You could imagine a medical team rushing in the airport, rushing to get to a plane that just landed because there's an older adult who is on the plane who's having a medical emergency. And they look around, and it was Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson began feeling nauseous and dizzy due to an ulcer flare-up. This is what his representative said, that it was an ulcer flare-up. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what they're putting out there. They probably don't want to lose the fight. They probably don't want to have the fight canceled because it's some serious, something way more serious than an ulcer. But even then, an ulcer is pretty serious. And you get punched and that ulcer burst in the middle of a fight then you're going to be almost on death's door. Thankfully, they said, Mr. Tyson is doing great now. He became nauseous and he became dizzy due to an ulcer flare-up 30 minutes before the plane landed. He is appreciative of the medical staff that were there to help him out. According to In Touch, paramedics were alerted before the plane even landed on Sunday as an announcement for a doctor was issued. We have somebody on board who's going through what seems like a medical emergency. Please have a doctor on standby at the airport. We are about to land in 30 minutes. Of course, they didn't have a doctor on the plane mid-flight and they were in the process of landing. Mike Tyson had some kind of medical emergency on the plane, and paramedics boarded the plane at the airport, one eyewitness said. Before the paramedics arrived, the flight issued that announcement asking for a doctor to be ready when they land. The message even came on everyone's screen. The message even came on everyone's screen. You're on the plane. They're catering to you. They have to let you know what's going on with your flight, why your flight's about to be delayed a little bit, why paramedics are going to be rushing to get onto the plane, and you getting off the plane might be delayed. 
You know when you, you wait for your plane to land and you're like excited to get to where you're going. You're like, okay, as soon as the plane lands, I'm going to get up, grab my bag, head out the door. And they're telling you, stay seated. There's an individual on the plane who requires medical emergency. And the EMT workers will be on the plane shortly to take care of that individual. And then we will secure your exit from this plane. That message flashed across everybody's phone. Now, once the plane landed in L.A., passengers' departure off American Airlines Flight 1815 was delayed while the paramedics attended to the former heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson. Of course, he was in first class, but we were an exit row, and the stewardess was very chatty, somebody said. They asked us to stay on the plane and landed so the paramedics could enter the plane. She said something like, he's a really important passenger, guys, so we want to make sure that he's okay. Somebody said, I knew it was him soon as she said that. So they had that chatty ass woman that work on the plane up there, the <laughs> stewardess. Couldn't wait to tell everybody. I could imagine how the people were like, we don't give a fuck about important. I'm important too, bitch. Get me off this damn plane. But you know, most of them held their composure, according to this report, while she up there whispering to everybody, it is a very important, really, really important passenger. Please just give us a minute, take care of him, and then we'll get you guys off the plane, okay? One person said, yep, I knew it was him, but I just mouthed the words to her. I said, Mike Tyson? And she nodded back and said, yes. The latest health scare will raise questions over Mike Tyson's scheduled professional comeback fight against YouTube star turned boxer Jake Paul, who's three decades his junior and in his prime, I believe Jake Paul is like 27 years old. Concerns over Mike Tyson's health were prominent at the time of the fight announcement. A lot of people are concerned. With Mike Tyson previously being spotted using a support cane even. And they were like, damn, he training and he hurting bones and stuff. Why is he on a support cane? This ain't the Mike Tyson that we're looking forward to seeing in the ring. We want to see Mike Tyson from back in the day. Mike Tyson in his prime, Mike Tyson. Sparring footage was released. Then the sparring footage showed that the 57-year-old is still in decent shape and he can pack a punch like back in the old days. But I keep telling people, this is not the Mike Tyson from back in the old days. I, for one, have my bet on Jake Paul. And I know a lot of people are like, you crazy. Jake Paul can't beat no Mike Tyson even at 57 years old. Listen, man, aging is a bitch, okay? You, your body is trying to move as fast as... Your mind is telling it to move, but the only thing that's moving fast is your mind because your body is slowed down. With time and age, your body slowed down a whole lot. Your punches ain't like the punches that you used to throw. He might have some old man strength with him, but his quickness, his reflexes, it's going to get the best of him. And I honestly think that Jake Paul is going to lay Mike Tyson out in that ring. I just hope that it's not a medical emergency again. And this time it's not an ulcer. This time it's like a bleeding on the brain or something like that. I would hate to have to say goodbye to Mike, the legendary Mike Tyson in this manner. But you know something kind of crazy? Mike Tyson probably would not want to die any other way than in the middle of a ring fighting. Think about that. Mike Tyson's last fought, fight was an exhibition fight with retired boxer Roy Jones Jr., both older men now, and that was in 2020. Before that, his last sanctioned professional fight was a TKO loss to Kevin McBride in 2005 long time ago 
Now, Tyson and Jake Paul, they will go head up, and they will be in the ring fighting each other on July 20th inside the Dallas Cowboys AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. If the latest health scare with this so-called ulcer, which I don't believe it's an ulcer, doesn't throw the main event out the window. This fight might get thrown out. Let's see how Mike's health checkout goes. A doctor might look at him and say, nah, it's not an ulcer, it's something more serious, you can't get in the ring. Or, it's an ulcer, but it's serious, you can't get in the ring. Over 90,000 fans are expected to be in attendance for that fight. The tickets sold already, which will also be streamed on Netflix. All kinds of money coming in with this fight. Now, as the streaming giant Netflix looks to make its way into broadcasting live sporting events, they're using this to be their catalyst, their catapult to getting into that arena. Netflix have never done live broadcasting of sporting events. This is a new thing they're doing. It's crazy to think. But, as many people that can fit into that stadium, 90,000, and majority of those tickets are sold already. I think it's like 90 to 93,000. I think it's going to be packed to the brim, and the global viewership could be in the hundreds of millions. It's wild, and it doesn't make any sense. But the fact that Netflix is a part of this, this is the perfect piece of the puzzle. It makes it the perfect trifecta of Netflix audience. My audience, Mike Tyson's audience, that's pretty much coming from Jake Paul. 27-year-old saying my audience mixed with Mike Tyson's audience. Mike Tyson's audience is like an older group of people, right? And then, because most young guys who aren't really into boxing or young people who aren't really into boxing, they don't even really know about Mike Tyson like that. Other than seeing one or two clips of him boxing. But they've seen one or two clips of many good boxers from back in the day. If you weren't there and you weren't, you haven't studied it and nobody told you, you don't know how great Mike Tyson was. You had to have been there to see it. Jake Paul, he came up through YouTube. He was a YouTuber. And then he made his way transitioning into boxing. And then started taking it seriously. So now we're going to have his audience, millions and millions of viewers or followers that he has on that YouTube platform, mixed with Mike Tyson's millions and millions of followers globally. That's younger generation, older generation. It should make for a good viewing experience where a lot of people will be tuned in. I'm betting my money on Jake Paul. And I hope that Mike Tyson does not lose his life in this fight. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV slash Brain Flow TV. And you already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.